guys, so today I am going to be doing a video on dealing with inappropriate patients or family members and I'm going to be talking about more of the dealing with the inappropriateness as far as like if they are trying to flirt with you or make inappropriate comments or remarks about you, your patient, you know, it, what not. So being a young female nurse and I'm not saying that like I'm super attractive but I am young and uh, healthy and sometimes people view nurses as being very sexy or attractive and I made a video on this about nursing being kind of have this sex appeal and how some people can get inappropriate and stuff but I wanted to talk about some things that you can say if a family member makes a comment about you or a patient makes a comment about you that makes you feel uncomfortable and is inappropriate. So first off, your safety is always number one. You, no matter what type of patient you're taking care of, you always need to look out for yourself and make sure that you are safe. And I, this applies to all nursing fields. Um, I believe psych would see this a lot more. But you have to be careful when you're in rooms and how you approach patients and family members and making sure and, and please don't like get scared when I tell you this but just something to keep in mind if you have like an, a person that's kind of inappropriate you need to make sure that you're safe in the room that you and if you really feel that uncomfortable then you need to switch assignments and all of that but let's just talk about if you just have a family member who maybe said an inappropriate comment or something but it's not necessary to like change up the patient assignments is you got to make sure that you are approaching them safely that you're not turning your back have the door open that you keep the curtain open that people can see you and so that way you're safe I've taken care of jail patients before who were sick and came from the jail to the hospital and I always made sure I had the door wide open there if it was a jail patient there was a police officer right there I made sure I was in sight that I wasn't turning my back and things like that and so that's one kind of tidbit to remember is just your safety so now I want to talk about kind of things that you can say if a patient or family member makes an inappropriate comment to you so personally from what I've learned and from my experience I guess you can say is that whenever someone says something inappropriate to you, you don't want to acknowledge how it makes you feel feel typically now I know this can be different in other situations but if someone says something to you about your body or some sexual comment you don't really want to say like sir ma'am that makes me feel uncomfortable because sometimes that's what they want sometimes they want to make you feel uncomfortable and that's going to be an incentive for them if you say this makes me feel uncomfortable I think the best thing to say is that comment was inappropriate, I don't appreciate it, please do not say that again. And that is very firm to the point, you're not being rude, you're just saying that inappropriate, this needs to stop, and please don't do that again. And if it's really that bad, then obviously you need to involve your charge nurse or call security or things like that. Um, I've actually, fortunately, have not had to get to that point but I have had patients say maybe, or family members say little remarks to me, and I've kind of had to um, shut it down, not by necessarily saying that, but recently I had a patient's family member who told me um, that I looked like someone who would like to have a smoke when I drink, and I thought that this was inappropriate. All I said was, I've never smoked, and I don't plan to smoke. Um, and that kind of shut that one off. It was kind of like, oh, okay. That stopped it there. There wasn't anything else that really came up, and so I left it at that. But I, you, it's important to, have to think about these things because you don't want to be in a situation where a family member or a patient says something to you that's inappropriate, and then you're like, uh, okay, or like caught off guard. So that's why I'm talking about this because even if it hasn't happened to you, which I hope it hasn't, I'm not saying it's going to happen to you, but if it does, you want to be prepared on what to say so that way it can end right then and there. I hope this video gives you guys a little kind of tips and advice. I know it was kind of long and rambling, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.